Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the QSBT1, which is the uh, uh, seat belt uh, tensioner by Cubic Systems. Uh, I purchased this uh, about three days ago, and this is going to be replacing my uh, PT actuator, the tension R by PT actuator. And um, for this, what I'm trying to do is I want to build a new uh, profile for it. So I'm going to attach this to the, uh, my, uh, uh, track racer TR160, but I do not want to attach it directly to the frame of the TR160. I'm going to add an extension on the back and attach that to the, um, to that extension. So I'm going to go over the details of the platform that I've built for it and um, the attachment of it and, um, uh, then connecting the seat belt to it and taking it for a test drive. Um, this video is probably going to be two or three parts. The first part is going to be, uh, building the platform, uh, or the profile, uh, that this will attach to. Um, second will be connecting the seat belt or the harness, uh, to this. And maybe a third one, if I didn't do it on the second video is a comparison between the PT actuator, uh, tension R belt and the QS PT1 uh, belt, which is the one that you see on the screen right here. Um, I did actually buy it from uh, the same company that you have, I think it's called AVV. So I was able to find it, it was local, uh, picked it up, and um, yeah, and now I have it. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing is, like I said, we're gonna be talking about the platform or the profile that I'm gonna be building for it uh, to mount it. Uh, so we'll go into step-by-step -step and uh, yeah. Let's get let's get started. First, we're starting with the uh, base of the tension belt profile. Um, here I have um, 80 by 40 pieces that will actually I'm going to put them like this to start to build the base, and they will basically just connect using the um, corner brackets right here. That's the first step that I'm going to do, and with that. Um, this will connect to the um, back side of the of my TR uh, 160. Okay, so now it is connected uh, with the corner brackets, as you can see here. Um, I have four corner brackets uh, because the other end of it will now connect to the back of the uh, cockpit, which is the TR 160. So let's go ahead and connect it, and after that, we'll move on to the uh, next step. And here it is mounted to the back of the rig. Next step is we are going to add two more um, 80 by 40 pieces. One on this side going up and one on the side going up and then two pieces in the middle one one of this like probably in the middle of these two bars and one all the way to the top um, and that depends really where i want to mount the belt tinge the belt tension i can put it here which means i don't have to put the piece in the middle or i can put a piece in the middle a little bit put the belt tension like right up here and then put mount it on that um, piece in the middle and the piece on the top right here will just have the rollers on. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, for now, I'm planning to not mount the uh, belt tensioner all the way here. I'm planning on putting like a little higher uh, and then one on the top for the rollers. So let's proceed with that. So here you see, these are the um, aluminum profiles that I had for the uh, search platform for gen 1 i'm going to cut them and reuse them for the uh, belt tension profile so i'm cutting the two pieces that are going to go on the side and this is one and i'm going to have another one cut And 
and now the piece is cut it's time to make them black Okay, so now we've got the um, top part of the tension belt system ready. Uh, we're gonna install it, and uh, yeah, and then we're just gonna connect the uh, tension belt to it. We'll see how it looks and how it behaves. Now we have the two profiles installed, one on the right and one on the left, and all I did is just a corner bracket right here. all the way to the end and then another corner bracket on this side and next what's left is just two pieces one of them is going to go here and one of them is going on the top okay with that piece installed now we're going to install the third piece and we're going to put the rollers on it so here this will go like this and this will go like this and the rollers will just sit on here yep that's it Here you go. Rollers are installed. Now I'm just gonna take this piece and install it on the uh, platform. Let's put first the four corner brackets and then we'll install it on the platform. Now we are complete with the frame. So you see, rollers are up here and they're actually straight with my shoulders. The tension, the bend, uh, belt tension is going to go here, and then we're going to install the seat belt as well. So the harness. So here it is. There you go. The build quality of this thing is amazing. Wow. That is very, very heavy. It's very heavy compared to the um, Tension R that we have here. Yeah, this is nothing. And again, could be to the direct drive motor that's inside, so. Yep. Okay, we have the brackets right here. The USB cable. Okay, I'm not sure what that cable is yet. Okay. Some T-nuts, some screws more screws, more screws, more T-nuts, washers, okay, I'm going to cite this box right here, we have a power brick, what these are yet
Okay, so here's what we have. And we got some reading to do before we install this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is bound these brackets onto the profile. Uh, we have all the required screws and all the nuts, all the T-nuts that um, came in the box. We will just go ahead and insert the T-nuts and then connect uh, the brackets on to the platform. On this profile, make sure you are using uh, one, two, three, and four to, in to install the brackets. So the third and the fourth hole to install the brackets. So you need to not use one, one or two because you will need to put an M8 hook right here for the seat belt. So leave this empty. So use three and four, okay? Next, we're gonna install these screws inside the mounting holes of the tension belt. And then once we do that, we will make sure that it fits into these screws. So let's measure, ensure that everything is good. And once that happens and it's in there, we will put these uh, nuts in the back. Let's do that. See, it's actually pretty easy. You just make, make sure the two brackets are loose in the back and just insert uh, the belt tensioner in one end and then slide the whole thing till you fit it on the other end. So it's very easy. So do not make sure you keep this loose. Once you do that, then I'm holding it with my tummy right now and install the nuts on the back and you're good to go. Okay, so here it is. I was able to mount it properly. And the cool thing about what I've done here is while well, connecting it to a second uh, profile right here, second piece, I can easily adjust it up and down if I want to. Instead of connecting it all the way to the bottom piece, which is because it's gonna become fixed and I can't move it up and down. So I'm gonna test in different positions. I've seen different opinions. Some put it towards the middle, some put it towards the end. So I'll test for different positions and see which one will give you know more immersion. But for now, it is mounted and secured. Um, I cannot really install the seat belts yet. Um, they're ready, but I cannot install them yet. And the reason for that is because they came with these um, huge bolts um, and these will not fit into my into the rig because these are you know like a real racing harness so they're made for real cars and this is just a simulator so these won't won't fit so I'm gonna have to buy um, an M8 bolts eye bolts and I will get this in a couple days and once I get those I will go ahead and install it and um, do a quick uh, test most importantly, what I'm trying to do here, I want to compare between this and the PT actuator um, tension R right here. I mean, I have this right here. Um, I actually may give this away. Um, I may give the PT actuator away um, for some lucky uh, subscriber here. Let's see. Yep. So we'll do part two once I get the uh, eye bolts, the eight millimeter eye bolts, we'll install them. And we are good to go for now. I was hoping to actually complete the whole thing tonight, but it doesn't look like I can do that. So I'll see you guys in part two.